Hello! Today I'm starting a series of new videos related to analytic trigonometry and this is a branch of mathematics that includes trigonometric identities. In this video I will talk about reciprocal identities and first let's talk about the meaning of the words reciprocal and identities. In math the reciprocal of a number is 1 divided by that number. For example, if we have number 5, then the reciprocal of 5 is 1 over 5. And with a fraction, for example, 3 over 4, to get the reciprocal, we need to interchange the numerator and the denominator. So, the reciprocal of 3 over 4 is 4 over 3. Now, what is an identity? An identity is an equation that is true for every real number for which both sides are defined. An example of an identity is x plus 4 equals x plus 4. This equation is satisfied by any real number. So any number we use in place of x will make both sides of this equation equal. Another example of an identity is x over x equals 1. This equation is true for any real number except 0. Now, what about trigonometric identities? A trigonometric identity is an identity that involves trigonometric functions. An example of a trigonometric identity can be sine of x over tangent of x equals cosine of x. Now, to better understand trigonometric identities, let's take a quick look at the definition of trigonometric functions using a right triangle. So, here we have a right triangle with an acute angle theta, and this is the opposite side for this angle, this is the adjacent side, and this is the hypotenuse. Then, sine of angle theta is defined as the opposite divided by the hypotenuse. Now, to the right, we have the cosecant function that is defined as the hypotenuse divided by the opposite. So, because the numerator and the denominator are interchanged, we can say that these two functions are reciprocals of each other. The cosine function is defined as the adjacent side divided by the hypotenuse. And to the right, the secant function is defined as the hypotenuse divided by the adjacent. So, we can say that these two functions are also reciprocals of each other. And now the tangent function is defined as the opposite divided by the adjacent and the cotangent function is defined as the adjacent divided by the opposite. So, the tangent and the cotangent are also reciprocals of each other. Now, let's see the trigonometric identities that are called the reciprocal identities. So here we have the six reciprocal identities and the first one is sine of x equals 1 over cosecant of x. We know that sine is the reciprocal of the cosecant. Then the reciprocal of the cosecant, which is 1 over cosecant of x, will be equal to sine of x. Then to the right, cosecant of x equals 1 over sine of x. And this means that the reciprocal of sine is 1 over sine, which is cosecant of x. The rest of the reciprocal identities are cosine of x equals 1 over secant of x, secant of x equals 1 over cosine of x, tangent of x equals 1 over cotangent of x, and cotangent of x equals 1 over tangent of x. One use of trigonometric identities is simplifying trigonometric expressions. In one of the next videos, I will show how to use reciprocal identities to simplify trigonometric expressions. I am glad you watched the whole video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.